Welcome back, and let's jump straight back in with the award for Social Prescribing Link Worker of the Year, which is sponsored by Elemental. Hello everyone, my name is Jennifer Neff and I'm the CEO and co-founder of Elemental Software. And I am here today to introduce those that have been shortlisted for the award for the Social Prescribing Link Worker of the Year. Social prescribers are the heartbeat of the social prescribing movement and without them, social prescribing can't exist. It can't flourish and it can't be accessed by all those who benefit from it. Here are the shortlisted for this award. Joanna Seymour from Warm Wales, Debs Johnson from Unlimited Potential and Ruth Melling from Care Merseyside. Let's hear more about them. I'm Joanna Seymour, Project Manager for Warm Wales, and I manage a small team across North Wales. This nomination is not just for me, but it's for my whole team, Karen, Emma, Jackie and Rianne. Because without them and the way that we've all stepped up, we would not have been able to support as many residents as we did last year and during the first lockdown. In the first four months of the pandemic, we received 482 referrals. We received a total of 803 referrals, and at the year before, we only received 198. Warm Wales aims to provide homes with affordable warmth and to alleviate fuel poverty. We're a community interest company supporting communities around Wales with energy saving advice and fuel poverty support for the last 15 years. We all know that cold homes can result in increased death and illness along with social isolation, stress, worry about heating bills and debt. It can affect children as well as have adults and having a negative impact on their life. And it's become more apparent that the condition of our home has a dramatic impact on all of our lives. We adapted Healthy Homes, Healthy People so that we can support more residents that were impacted by the pandemic. Our aim is to tackle fuel poverty, reduce avoidable health inequality and to improve health and well-being. We want to be able to engage with residents, making sure their basic needs are met and ensuring everyone has access to safe, sound, warm, secure homes where they can live, play, work and grow in. Our collective passion, drive, commitment, empathy, understanding and pure determination has been key and is why I'm putting this nomination forward. I am Chris Dabbs, Chief Executive of Unlimited Potential. We're part of the Wellbeing Matters Partnership in Salford. I nominated Debs Johnson, who is our community connector for Eccles and Earlham. I nominated Debs because she goes above and beyond her role to support others who are new to the area such as recent arrivals from Iran and Iraq. During the COVID-19 situation, Debs swiftly adapted both to telephone and to online working, and also to a shift in topics of concern to local people, including where they were isolated or in difficult home circumstances. Debs contributes her knowledge to widening the number and diversity of options for local people. She works with the local volunteer development worker to enhance the capacity of community Debs groups. Debs helped to me to find my focus and made me Debs realize what I needed to do to spread our net, a I social innovation to project, otherwise. exploring new ways to address loneliness by using local assets. Born and raised in the neighborhood, what is inspiring about Debs is that she nurtures good relationships and creates environments in which people can thrive. The complex issues faced by many local people are rooted in poverty and inequality and cannot simply be addressed by connection to a community group or activity. Debs comes alongside people to tackle their priorities. In short, Debs enables people to have more control of their lives. As one person said, Hi everyone, I'm Cathy Conley and I am the Chief Executive of Cara Merseyside. I nominated Ruth Melling for Social Prescribing Link Worker of the Year and the reasons being is that Ruth is a phenomenal link worker who goes above and beyond the call of duty when she's dealing with clients. She joined the team last year in February 2020, just on the eve of a global pandemic when we all had to relocate to working from home, Ruth really, really kind of spurred on our ability to deliver a lot of our services from a digital point of view and helped us adapt very quickly. She has managed over 500 referrals this past year. She has created 
online courses, including delivering an online choir. She has trained as a relaxation therapist so that she can forward sleep techniques, relaxation techniques to our clients. Um, she's created podcasts for Car Merseyside. She's appeared on radio interviews for us talking about social prescribing and fully, fully embraces the idea of social prescribing in all its aspects. And we are so grateful to have Ruth as a link worker. The judges thought that this person proves that compassion and understanding of local communities is what makes a great social prescribing link worker. And I'm delighted to say that the winner of the social prescribing link worker of the year is Debs Johnson, Unlimited Potential. Well done, Debs. Hi everyone. Who knew that understanding what matters most to people and connecting them to local community resources would mean I'd be sat here now feeling extremely valued and humbled to receive this award for Social Prescribing Link Worker of the Year. I'd like to thank Chris Dabbs, our Chief Exec, for nominating me, and to my colleagues for their support and kindness. This award represents the truly positive impact that social prescribing has on all those who need it the most. Thank you.